Uh, hello. Uh, so I'm going to talk about uh, an experience that... Sorry. An experience that um, my family and I had in 2010 uh, near our house uh, or at our house in Netherland, uh, near Netherland in the mountains. Uh, we have a, a cabin um, that has a backyard, I guess you would say, to a forest, which I think is really cool. And uh, one day when we got there, we looked around to um, obs observe and see w what we saw. And this is what we saw. We saw a nest, and I was psyched. I was like, awesome. And then my parents are like, wait, could it be a pack rat nest? Because of course, when we first saw it, the bird had uh, flown away because it got scared. We don't know. We didn't see the bird there. But in fact, when we took a close look, um, there we saw three pink uh, and dull whitish um, eggs, and I was so excited. It was like awesome because I've never seen this before. So it was really cool. <coughs> uh, we pretty much the whole summer of 2010, we observed these birds. We saw them hatch, and uh, these were er, the first hatched um, chicks. They were, uh, I think, kind of cute. You could uh, only see their down feathers, which uh, was really interesting. And another thing that we noticed, which was really interesting, was that when we put our hand or our camera over the chicks, they would um, squeak and squeal and move. But as they grew older, um, they didn't do that, which was really interesting. They understood that we might be predators and that if they moved, it might be the end. <laughs> so um, they didn't um, move when we put the camera or hand over it anymore. Um, the parents also fed the chicks um, at an almost constant rate. We noticed it was about half hour intervals, um, which was really interesting because it was almost exactly half an hour. We spent all the day outside looking at these birds, uh, but really we could have gone out every half an hour and seen them. <coughs> um, we took pictures and uh, I also took some videos, um, which um, was really cool and a cool experience. Uh, this is what I call the teenage years, I guess, because they would move out of the nest a couple inches, spread their wings, flap their wings, go back into the nest and cuddle up to be ready for when the parents went to feed them. When they jumped out of the nest, it was really uh, fun because uh, it wasn't just seeing them right there. We actually had to look for them. We would hear the mother calling to the chick. Uh, the sound is a metallic, high-pitched noise. And we would hear the chicks call back. We would uh, find the chick, and then uh, shortly afterwards, the mom would come feed the chicks. But as you can see in this picture, you can barely tell it's a bird. It, even if you squint your eyes a little bit, it's part of the tree. And this is very useful for predators because, or, or for the birds against predators, because if a um, bear or a mountain lion, which have very bad eyesight, 
Well, they aren't going to see it. <coughs> um, this one, it's a little bit more obvious, but it still looks like a pine cone. Uh, what really scared me was that sometimes when they were on the floor, because sometimes they were on branches, but when they were on the floor, we would be walking, right? All of a sudden, we would go like this, see the bird, and we would be like, oh, uh, and step back, because we almost stepped on them several times. <coughs> um, the parents, we also noticed, w would feed them different um, things, including berries, worms, and even dragonflies, which was really interesting. Um, this uh, interaction between the chick and the parent also gave my mom and I the idea to write a book. Um, dur we were at our house in the mountains, we were downloading the pictures into our computer. We had no Wi-Fi. So we said, well, what better thing to do to pass time? And th um, that's what we did. I would be the chick and I would say, um, hey, mom, could you bring me uh, my favorite worm next time? And my mom would say, uh, yeah, totally. But if I can't, can I bring you a berry instead? This was all in Spanish. Uh, so we, uh, my mom and I wrote uh, this book. It's called A Forest Family, Una Familia del Bosque. It's um, bilingual, and this has uh, our, pic so our pictures uh, of, like, feeding of everything. Um, so... Now we're hoping to get it published soon, but uh, we don't know exactly how soon, because we've this happened in 2010. Now it's 2013. We're starting to lose hopes, but uh, someday. Thank you.